The attribution of credit for the invention of the light bulb has long been a topic of historical debate, centering primarily on Thomas Edison and his role in its development. While Edison is commonly hailed as the sole inventor of the incandescent light bulb, the issue is far from clear-cut. The controversy surrounding Edison's claim to the light bulb invention involves the consideration of other inventors and contributors working on similar technologies during the late 19th century. Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory was a hotbed of innovation, and he was surrounded by a team of talented individuals, including the likes of Louis Latimer, an African-American inventor and draftsman. Latimer played a crucial role in improving the light bulb by developing a more durable carbon filament, which significantly extended the bulb's lifespan. This raises questions about whether Edison should be credited as the solitary genius behind the light bulb, or if credit should be more evenly distributed among the collaborative efforts of his team. One of the key figures in the debate is Nikola Tesla, who at the time was working alongside Edison. While Tesla was not directly involved in the invention of the incandescent light bulb, his contributions to electrical systems and innovations in alternating current, AC technology, were groundbreaking. The light bulb controversy is thus intertwined with this larger battle for dominance in the emerging field of electrical power. Edison's entrepreneurial prowess and marketing acumen played a pivotal role in popularizing the light bulb, but the extent to which he can be credited with the actual invention is a matter of historical scrutiny. Critics argue that Edison's legacy as the inventor of the light bulb has been overstated, highlighting the collaborative nature of scientific and technological progress. Louis Latimer, in particular, is often cited as someone whose contributions have been overshadowed. As an African-American inventor in a time when racial prejudice was rampant, Latimer faced unique challenges but managed to make significant advancements in the technology. His invention of a more efficient carbon filament was a critical development, enabling the widespread adoption of incandescent lighting. Supporters of Edison, on the other hand, argue that while he may not have been the sole inventor, his leadership and entrepreneurial skills were instrumental in bringing the light bulb to the masses. Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory was an innovative environment, and he fostered a culture of experimentation and collaboration. Edison's role as a pioneer in electrical lighting technology is undeniable, and his ability to create a commercially viable product and market it successfully should not be understated. In the competitive landscape of technological advancement, claiming credit for a particular invention is often a complex and contentious issue, and it is essential to acknowledge the collective nature of progress. In conclusion, the debate over whether Thomas Edison should receive sole credit for the invention of the light bulb is a nuanced and multifaceted issue. While Edison played a central role in the development and popularization of the incandescent light bulb, it is crucial to recognize the collaborative efforts of other inventors, including Louis Latimer and Nikola Tesla. The history of technological innovation is rarely a straightforward narrative and attributing credit for inventions often involves navigating a complex web of contributions. The controversy surrounding the light bulb serves as a reminder that the history of science and technology is shaped by the collaborative efforts of many individuals, each contributing in their own way to the march of progress.